All right. Um, on Suge's latest episode of his podcast, he um, went into the Big Jake story in Atlanta. I wanted to uh, play what he said and get your thoughts on um, on basically the story that he gave about Big Jake. You cool with that? Sure. Okay. So they had this Jermaine Dupree party in Atlanta. Everybody wanted to do these documentaries and rewrite history and lie and you know this. That's not how it went. We went to the Jermaine Dupree party in Atlanta. It was supposed to be me, Jake. Well, actually, it was Jake and myself, and there was another person supposed to come, and he, he can carry his family, but he missed the flight. So anyway, we get there. We get the uh, party. We had a great time. Then we went to the after party. Anytime I go out of town, no matter where I, I would go, I would have a 24-hour car there waiting on Take it from West be waiting on no cab or no car service. We would keep it. Them all right there. We get to the after party. We enjoying ourselves. I'm dancing with a, but I'm gonna watch Jake, and I'm quite sure Jake was watching me. You know, you come with somebody, you you, you know, you keep your eyes on them, and y'all come together, you lead together. I see Jake was having like a little aggressive conversation, so I goes over. When I get there, I can hear the conversation. The hit the bartender, who's a bartender rather, gave Jake her number. The other fool was mad because he gave Jake the number. She gave Jake the number. So Jake was like, man, check it. But if you got a problem, we go in the restroom and run his face. If you win, I'll shake your hand. If you won't win, I'm going to beat your ass. Let's go we get it out the way. Before they can do that part, a real police officer in a real police uniform came and got on the chain. Like, you know, like he was going to get on him. What do you think you're doing? I said, man, you touch the homie with we're going to tear this motherfucker up. He said, well, I got to throw him out. I said, for what? He said, he was uh, Puffy and Jermaine Dupree. So, bam. If he go, I go. So when we get outside, Jake still want to run his say, you know? Somebody passed somebody something, start shooting. All these went out to the motherfucker who was shooting. I ended up doing what I was doing to the motherfucker who was out there. So when the ambulance came, I said what I said, did what I did. The ambulance came, and we followed them. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. I bet none of y'all will apologize. Anna told that story word for word, just like that, about three or four times. And I done been told, oh, the nigga from uh, Goody Ma, Goody Ma, well, what's, I can't, I never know his name, Gup or whatever his name, said this happened. Mark Curry said this happened. Little Bow Wow don't know he was a kid. He's lying. I t- Man, I bet none of you motherfuckers apologize and, 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 and say, yeah, Reggie told us this, that's how it happened. Y'all hear anything about a slap? Y'all hear anything about him walking in being a serial slapper in 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 Atlanta at a Jermaine Dupri party like all of these the lying motherfuckers for views uh, start hearing each other and, and saying, oh, this is all I can get. Man, you can get on Arts Channel if you go and say this and say this because that's a big topic over there. He's going to take care of you. Oh, yeah, that's what I got to say. All right. Yeah, well, let's go tell him this story and let's go. And all you got to do is stick to this story. I told all you motherfuckers, Suge did not walk in there. They got into it over Big Jake talking to a young lady, and they got into an argument at the club. They got kicked out of the club as they was getting into the car. Uh, A shooting happened with the guys that Big Jake had got into it with. He got shot. Suge grabs Puffy by the fucking collar. As he said, I did what I had to do. He ain't said he slapped nobody yet. Told y'all. Suge Knight would have told y'all. Bragged about slapping the shit out of Puffy every chance he got if he had to. And if he did that. He just said, I did what I had to do. That means he, what he did. I'm telling y'all what he said he did. I know y'all still don't want to believe. Oh, he slapped him then. Okay, but that ain't what those niggas was reporting when they getting y'all and arguing with me on YouTube about. 
But Reggie Wright tell y'all everything. And what he heard and how it went down. Man I told that story word for word of how I've been telling it. But y'all ain't gonna remember that. All of y'all right now. Oh, well, he just left that part out because he's in jail and he didn't want to say he slept. <laughs> he talked about pouring hot coffee on a motherfucker. Why wouldn't he say he slapped somebody? Hot coffee is a worse, more of a serious crime than, slap, than a slap. So miss me with that. I'm tired of having to argue with y'all. I'm tired of telling y'all. There's another story I'll talk about tomorrow that I told y'all word for word regarding MC Hammer. Y'all come and check in tomorrow and y'all hear about that one. Peace bomb first.